Okay, you notice the new balls. Uh, the little balls are yellow, one through seven, and high balls are the red balls, number nine through 15, and of course the eight ball. This is said, I just got a patent on this set. Let me turn that eight ball so you can see it. The patent on this set. He's got a new patent on this set, and uh, they will be available shortly. Perfect for eight ball, if that's your favorite game to play at home, or tournament eight ball. The visual aspect of this is by far better than any other form of uh, eight ball racks that you can find on the market anywhere. Uh, if you're sitting 100 yards away and you can look at a table 100 yards away, you can practically see the, uh, the, the patterns from there. I mean, as far away as you can get in a place, and they say they have a big place and it's got eight tables and you, you can look from the furthest away table in the stands and look to the first table and you'll know the patterns being played on that first table at any tournament. So this is ideal for eight ball. Now I'm breaking with a uh, southeast break cue with that uh, phenolic ferrule and tip. I hit him awfully hard. I made the cue ball jump. That's the first rack. Okay, both these balls are uh, more or less wide open. Now I'm going to try the three ball because I see that the, for red, the ten ball can be tough. Uh, Getting on that can be very tough. Uh, getting on the 11 can be tough from the 10. So I'm going to roll the three ball in, the yellow three ball, take the little balls, and go into the eight with a cue ball. And then I'll have the two in the side next as a safety valve. I'd love to be able to shoot this yellow ball over by this corner next, but that's not going to be possible. I think the eight's going to block that one. If I make this ball roll in, it's a very tough shot. And when you're roll, shooting off the rail, you don't, once you get your grip pressure and how hard you're going to shoot, you just go back and forth nice and smooth and don't stop the motion. Don't change your grip pressure. Once you find a grip pressure that feels like you're going to make the ball, just stay nice and smooth, back and forth, nice and smooth, and let it go forward. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Well, I didn't hit as much of the eight as I wanted to. I would have had the two on the side, but now I'm, I hit the eight so thin, I came slid down underneath this five ball, and that's the only shot I've got. Let me take a look. No, it's not the only shot I've got. I can still see the six ball over here. I can make the six, and that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to come out for the one ball next, then this ball, then this ball, then this ball, then the eight. Let's see what happens. Easy, easy does it. Okay, now, got this angle here. Can walk around. I might be able to shoot this ball on the side next, then that ball, then the five, then the eight, which would be ideal. Eight doesn't go in that pocket, so we gotta be careful. So I'm gonna shoot this ball, roll down here, and I'll have either the two in the side or the four in that corner over there. As a safety, safety, I have a play position on two balls that way. So I'm going to shoot a seven on the side and roll down there for the two. Two on this side over here, hopefully. Thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Okay, we got the two on the side. Two ball on the side. I'm close to the rail, so it's once I zero in where I want to be, I don't change the grip pressure, just get it going back and forth, back and forth, and follow through. Nice and smooth. Now, if I stop this ball right here, I'm going to put myself behind 11, so I have to let it go just a little bit forward. You can do that two ways, with center ball or with a low ball, and let it lose its bottom English before it gets to the object ball, and it won't roll very far at all. Forward. I'm going to make it roll forward with a low ball. To get on this eight ball could be very dangerous here. If I hit it with high right, I'm going to glance off here and come in this into here. If I hit it with a high ball, 
and try to miss that three and come up here is fine. Let me do that. I'm going to try to go underneath and around the, uh, third, the 12 ball here. I'm going to try to go to the rail and then around above the 12 ball and make the eight in the same pocket and make the five. Ooh, that's close. Very close to hitting the three, hitting the 12. Very close to hitting the 12 ball here. Yeah. Didn't have to get in trouble, but I did. So maybe Red will win this game. It's lined up good for a bank. Gonna have to hold it up with a bank. Let me see where I have to hit it to cut it. I prefer to cut it whenever possible. Because banks change from hour to hour, even if you know the table. So I'm going to cut this in the side. Just get those pieces together in my mind's eye. No English. Didn't cut it enough. Now, your turn or Red's turn. What would Red do from here? 